I find so much about the IRS is people voluntarily creating liability for themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's all they do. Let, let yeah. me tell you something real, real interesting. This is, this is going to shock people. So I, ha I had a case in California four years ago. It was an audit. This rich couple, they sold a company, $200 million, a bunch of money. And they did something silly with the money. I had to reverse engineer their mess they created. And I got them out of that situation. But I was already in the middle of an audit. And so the IRS had sent all these questions. <clears throat> and I had written the answers you know, because <laughs> I had all the time in the world to sit there and read all their questions. So it was an audit. And they didn't like the answers, of course. And I answered correctly. I mean, sometimes I kind of didn't. But for the most part, I answered <laughs> I, I answered on anything that I knew that they could discover for themselves. So I just said, ah, okay, here, it's, you know, you got me. <laughs> well, they call, they called my clients in for a, an audit in person. So I, I, I prepped them again and I knew, I said, look, they're going to ask you the same questions on the list because they're a bunch of minions. They can't think. They're just going to ask you the same damn questions. So just refer to those questions and I, they did it themselves. Sometimes I go in there and I represent people. This time I didn't have to do that, but I did. I did have a court reporting service take the transcript. <laughs> what? What? People are going, what? What does that mean? You know how in the in the in the court, you know, on LA Law, what are they, all these TV shows, Law and Order, you got that person that's typing away. Yeah. Yep. That's your court reporter, right? And and it's very important. Every word is correct. This is the official transcript of what took place, who said what to whom, right? So we did this at an audit. We're not in court. Because I knew what the IRS was going to do. They were going to go through the audit process. We're going to beat them over the head again. But they're not going to get anything from my client. I already made them uncollectible. <laughs> it doesn't even matter anyways. I mean, they can't take anything. The IRS wanted like $600,000 from these guys. So I told my clients, they're probably going to go to the Department of Justice and sue you for an order compelling you to answer the questions differently than you already have. And instead of arguing with them, let's just take the transcript of the audit. And when they go to the when they go to the DOJ and lie, in fact, those idiots went to the DOJ and didn't tell them we took a transcript. Oh no! <laughs> so the DOJ went to the court and said these people relied upon the Constitution and used the Fifth Amendment and didn't answer the questions and they didn't comply with the uh, the summons. So we filed a motion to dismiss and we showed the judge the transcript and that they lied. Because I told the clients, don't ever use the Fifth Amendment because the Constitution has nothing to do with the IRS guys. Okay. I'm going to tell you this right now. So this is funny. So I filed a motion to dismiss and we said in there, uh, please see attached transcript, like 100 pages or something. At no point did the defendants rely upon the Fifth Amendment nor make any such expression. And in every case, they answered to the best of their ability. Look at all their answers. And furthermore, the DOJ should know, along with the court, which probably already understands, that the U.S. Constitution has nothing to do with an IRS audit. So why is the uh, DOJ referencing it? We didn't. <laughs> okay. Wow. So what the heck happened to that case? But within a month, the Department of Justice dismissed it voluntarily. Wow. So we beat the United States. Now, these bastards tried it again. Same set of facts, except this time they framed it as a financial crimes network failure to complete certain disclosure forms timely. Mm. So we did the same thing, except this took a little bit longer. So we did the motion to dismiss. It got denied. We filed the answer. We went into discovery. So in the complaint, they alleged that there's a tax liability. This is where we get into this tax thing, okay? So mm. the IRS said, we assess the tax and there's this much money owed. So we just said something very simple. We would like to depose your assessment officer and we want to see the tax assessment the certificate mm -hmm. they dismissed the case because <laughs> they couldn't what? produce that huh the united states lost now my clients don't owe anything because they put their head on the chopping block this time the first time they just asked for an injunction this time they were asking for money and they lost because they lied Ooh. again <laughs> 